<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. We're back over at the PS3 because there's been a new feature here which has been in testing for some time, but it's now available for both PlayStation 3 Hen as well as custom firmware users as long as you're using the latest version of EvoNAT custom firmware. This is in regards to installing package files such as some like this here, which you would see on the game section of the XMB. Now, typically, if it is a game that you are needing to install and relicense, you'd need to have an accompanying .wrap file and you use that to relicense the game, which I have covered before. However, this has now been made a little bit easier if you're going to be planning on relicensing several games or applications thanks to a new script and feature from Escort Do. Now, this was first being tested within PS3 Hen and as of PS3 HIN 3.4.0, this has been added in, and it's going to be this here within PS3 HIN itself, which is added support for wrap.bin, and it shows one of the paths where it looks for this wrap.bin file. Now that might not mean much to you, but hopefully by the end of this video, it means a little something more. And don't worry, if you're on custom firmware, EvoNAT has you covered. You will need the latest custom firmware from EvoNAT for this here, but if you check out his improvements to the Xi plugin, we can see it here as well too. Within the basic tools section, you could see here that you could import licenses to a wrap.bin file, or you can even export licenses to a wrap.bin file. Now, why exactly is this something that's a little bit exciting and something that I want to showcase here? Well, like I said, it does end up simplifying it a little bit if let's say you're in a situation like I am here where I end up formatting this PS3, and if I want to reinstall a few games as opposed to putting every single wrap file on a USB drive, you can combine them all into one wrap.bin file and then just use that to relicense your content. Now making a video on this is not lost on me, I am aware that it's better to show and not tell in the video format, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So if you're wanting to follow along here, the first thing that you're going to need is Python installed, and in order to do this here, you can just come to the Python site, which will be linked down below in the description, go ahead and navigate over to the download section, and then download the latest build of Python dependent on your operating system. Next there's going to be two scripts to download, you really just need one of them if you're wanting to combine everything into a single bin file, but I'll show you how to unpack that as well too. The first thing we're going to need is from escort do, which is wrap to bin, which is exactly what it says here. Pack PS3 wrap files into a single bin. In order to download this, you can come to the GitHub page linked down below in the description, click on the code section, and then click on download zip and save this somewhere you can easily find it. Now in order to do the inverse, if you want to well unpack that wrap.bin file, he's also created bin to wrap, which you can do the exact same thing here, it'll be linked down below in the description, click on the code button, and click on download zip. So if you're deciding to download everything, you should have three files here. The first thing we can knock out is Python, which you can go ahead and run this here. Now this is just a standard installer, and I've already installed this, so in my case, let's just click on repair for example, you go through the standard installation process, but do keep in mind there's going to be one option here which will ask if you want to add it to your path on Windows, that's P-A-T-H. You're going to want to check that or say yes to it. You want to make sure that Python, the environmental variable itself, has been added to your path. Just make sure you enable that option. So once this has been installed, we can close out of here and we no longer need the executable for this since, well, it's already been installed. So now we have our two scripts here in which you just need to highlight the both of these zips. You can right click and use something such as 7 to extract them out right here. This should give us two folders for the exact names of the archives we just extracted, so let's go ahead and get rid of those zip files. Now I'll show you how to use the both of these here, but the exciting one is going to be wrapped to bin because this is going to make our lives a little bit easier here. You can go ahead and open up this directory and you're going to see a few files as well as an xdata folder in here, which it states right here put wraps here, so it'll be pretty easy to follow the instructions on this. Now as a demonstration, I have a few games I'm wanting to reinstall on my system, and I already have the wrap files, so in this example here, I have four wrap files, and they're going to look something like this. Just go ahead take the wrap files for your accompanying packages and put them in here. You can put either the ones you want to install, or let's say you have a collection of your own wrap files, you can put them all in here, even if you're just installing one or two applications. The nice thing is, once this is done, let's say if you take all your wrap files, 
files and you put them in here, even if you want to install one or two packages, that's fine. Because the thing is, as long as you have this wrap.bin that we're going to create, you'll always have access to really all of your wrap files as long as you have that one file. Now, once your xdata folder has been populated, we can come back out here and we now need to run this Python script itself. And there's a few ways to run a Python script, but one of them here, if you're going to be using command prompt, you could do something like this. You can go ahead and navigate over to the address bar, clear this out, and type in cmd, then hit the enter key. This will bring up command prompt, and all you need to do is type in python space, and then type in wrap to bin.py, and then hit enter. Nothing is going to come out of this here, but if we go ahead and close out, you're going to see that you have not only a wrap log.txt, but you also have the wrap.bin file. So if we check the wrap log.txt, you can see here there's been four wrap files that I included in. Each of these is the file hash for each wrap file, and on top of that, we now have, as opposed to needing four different wrap files for our games here, we have only one wrap.bin which is needed. So that's why this is nice because now you're seeing, as opposed to bringing all of these over here, and especially if you're doing something such as transferring over FTP, you now have this singular file that you can work with. Now real quick, if you're on Windows and you're running into issues running the Python script that way, you could also do this here, which is a little more manual, but it does work as well too. Within your applications, look up idle and you should find idle for your accompanying Python install. Go ahead, open that up. Now once the idle shell opens up, we can click on file, click on open, find wherever your script is, so mine is wrap to bin.py, and open it. It's now going to open this up here in a separate window, and from here we can click on file and run module. And you can see it runs it right there. If we check here, it ended up regenerating these. And just like before, we can check the log, and it has all four of our wrap files right there, as well as their accompanying hashes. So that's another way you can run this if you're having trouble with command prompt. Now I'm going to close out of this, close out of this here, because I'm also going to show you how you can unpack this as well too. The other one we're looking for is bin to wrap, so you can open this up, and it's the exact same thing here. Now the difference here is that since we're going backwards, you need to provide your own wrap.bin file. So you can go ahead, right click the one that you just created, copy it out, and we're going to paste it next to the bin to wrap.py script. And just like before, we're going to do cmd, open this up. This time around, we're going to do python bin to wrap.py, hit enter, it's already run. And if we close out of this here, you should now see a bin log.txt, in which here it shows us the exact same wrap files as well as their accompanying hashes. You can see these two are matching, so there's been no issues with the data integrity there. And if we go within bin to wrap this new folder that was created, there we go. We now have our extracted wrap files. So if you ever need to extract them out of this single file, so if you ever want to extract out the licenses from this bin file, you just run the opposite script here and boom, you have all of your wrap files extracted out. Now, if you're at your PS3 wondering, okay, great, that's awesome. I know how to create a file as well as extract it, but how do I actually use it? Well, the good news is it's the exact same as before. I have a USB drive here, for example, but if you go to the USB drive in the root here, I have a few packages files that I've copied over in the background. Now all you need to do is grab your wrap.bin file, right click, copy it out, and whether it's on your USB drive or even on the internal hard drive on your PS3, you just need to put this into your EX data folder. So for this, I'll create a new folder, call it EX data, enter the folder, and typically you would put wrap files here, but instead of doing that, we're just going to put our bin file. Now, it must be named wrap.bin. You cannot change the name of it, but all four of the licenses for these four games have been added into that. So again, as opposed to having four different wrap files, we now have one bin file, which simplifies it a bit. With that, let's go ahead, exit out of here, right click, eject our USB drive, and take it over to the PS3. Now, if you're on Evonat custom firmware, you should be good to continue installing packages, but if you're on PS3 HIN, of course, you're going to need to enable PS3 HIN when you first turn on your system. Let's go ahead and give this an enable, and once it is turned on, we can now come down to the package manager, install package files, and I'm just going to go ahead and start installing the packages I have. This will take a few moments, but let's go ahead and just cut ahead. It will be a good time to mention as well, you're not strictly limited to keeping this file on your USB drive. You can transfer it to your internal PS3 hard drive, whether you're going to do it through USB or FTP. 
I'm going to use Multiman for this example here, but I'm going to go into the file system. Let's go ahead and open up the PS3 root. And for this here, I'm going to grab from the USB drive the EX data folder. And inside of here, let me grab the wrap.bin. I'm going to copy that out. Now the exact directory to transfer this onto your PS3's internal drive would be dev underscore HDD zero. And inside of there, we're going to look for the EX data folder. If you do not have this, you can go ahead and create it. But within the EX data folder here, you can go ahead, paste this. Let's say yes. And just like that, our wrap.bin file has been transferred over to the PS3's hard drive. So at this point, I can just remove the USB drive. All right, so it's been a few moments here, but you can see that I've reinstalled all four of these games that I was wanting to install and play on this system again. However, we do need to do the standard relicensing effort in which we need to have a USB drive or in our internal hard drive, we have to have that wrap file in the EX data folder, and then we need to play each of these at least once in order for the license to take. However, we're not dealing with wrap files here. We're dealing with the wrap.bin file, and in the previous step, I transferred it to my internal drive on the system. So you can actually see here, because it's been transferred over, I do not have my USB drive hooked up to the system at all. But let's go ahead and try to relicense some of these games. So for Call of Duty, let's go ahead and fire this up. And that was quicker than I expected on here, which is good, but let's see. And would you look at that, it ended up booting up here. Now, I know this is successful because I'll actually splice in right here. If this was not successful and you try to boot it up, it would bring up this message right here saying that you needed to license this content again. However, since we have it in that wrap.bin file and we're able to play this game, this is successfully relicensed on the system. So let's go ahead and quit out of here. Next up, let's try Daytona. So we can fire this up. Same as before. Now it's installing the trophy set, so we are in good shape, but you can see right here, just like before, we were able to get Daytona USA up and running and reinstalled successfully. For something a little different, let's go ahead and try a PS1 game. So we'll go ahead and fire up Medieval, and we need to create, okay, here we go, we need to create an internal memory card. So let's go through that step. Create one, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I don't need to rename it. That's okay, all right. Now let's actually try Medieval. I really forgot how many loading sequences this game had at the beginning, but you can see here Medieval is up and running and working, so we have one last game to try. Now last but certainly not least is going to be Resident Evil 2. We'll do the exact same thing as before. And here we go, it's the good one as well too, which is the DualShock version, so this is working just fine. Let's go ahead and close out of here, and that's really about it. So there we go, that's about it for this video. If you have been installing package formatted games such as this, hopefully this has been a little bit of an exciting update here, and you should now know how to not only pack all of your wrap files into a single wrap.bin, but how you can also unpack that as well too. And hopefully that makes managing those just a little bit more convenient for you all. Either way, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.